after rescuers found this abused cat in a puppy mill that's feared the worst Puppy mills have a reputation for keeping canines in horrific conditions and denying animals their basic needs However, the cruelty these pet farms commit isn't just reserved for dogs when kitten Athena was found at one of these barbaric farms For example, she was in such a state that vets suggested she should be put down in fall of 2014 the Humane Society of America had attended to a report of a suspected puppy mill in Rutherford County, North Carolina the animal protection organization works to put an end to these commercial dog breeding businesses which have been known to put profit before animal welfare and in this particular case the Humane Society was made aware of the suspected puppy mill after authorities responded to a complaint about the property and noticed animals living in complete squalor the local sheriff's department then learned that the property owner was selling puppies online with no time to lose then the Humane Society along with other animal rescue organizations in the area were called in to assist the authorities with the removal of the animals but when the rescuers arrived at the mill what they found was despicable over 50 dogs and six cats were being forced to live in their own filth the dogs in particular were suffering from a number of untreated ailments including visible eye and ear infections it's frustrating to see these animals living in such horrific conditions lieutenant Leon Godlock who was on the scene said in a 2014 press release for the Humane Society and the conditions the cats were living in was just as diabolical looking into the cat room it was like a small house of horrors the Humane Society's Kim album said in a video report of the rescue that the organization posted on YouTube there were cobwebs hanging all over and barren cages that had feces and old moldy food caked on among that devastating scene meanwhile rescuers found little Athena and when help finally got to the white kitten the rescuers could see that she was clearly suffering in particular Athena had upper respiratory issues and a severe eye infection the latter of which often occurs as a result of overbreeding flat-faced cats like Athena are more susceptible to these types of illnesses and in Athena they were so severe that the poor kitten could barely breathe what's worse is that it seemed like the little puss had simply accepted her tragic lot in life she thought that's what life was supposed to be like she didn't know any better album revealed However, for all her problems, it was clear to see that Athena was a fighter. Fortunately, and like other animals found at the mill that day, Athena was transported to safety. The cat was taken to Brother Wolf Animal Rescue, where she was looked over by a team of veterinarians. When Athena came to Brother Wolf initially, she was very, very sick, said Denise Bits from the shelter. In fact, Athena was so sick that one vet recommended she was put down. But, humbled by her fighting spirit, her carers decided to do what they could for the furry feline. As a result then they sought a second opinion from another vet he had it turned out what seemed like an unconventional idea specifically the new vet thought that if he took Athena's entire nose off she'd be able to breathe properly and lead a normal life it would just cosmetically look weird Danny Ellis Athena's new owner told the dodo in December of 2016 but I thought who cares thankfully though the surgery was a success Athena's feeling so much better and is running around the house like a crazy woman because she can breathe so much better since the surgery her new owner posted on social media following the operation many thanks to all of Athena's supporters and to those who oppose puppy mills and the horrible condition that these poor animals have to endure at the hands of their abusers in fact the little noseless kitten now lives a relatively normal life however she has had to get used to breathing through her mouth that's why she keeps her tongue out all the time Alice explained to the dodo but considering the fate that she could have been dealing with many would say that this was a small price to pay and after having her tough start to life Athena can finally enjoy being a normal animal she's the most loving cat I've ever met gushed Alice looking at the confident cat she is today then it would be impossible to know the horrors Athena had experienced and while no creature should have to endure the things Athena went through what makes matters even worse is that her former owner was already known to police the woman had previously been charged for animal cruelty in 2002 her brush with the law though apparently didn't stop her neglecting innocent creatures according to the Humane Society one of the problems is the lack of regulation for breeding facilities in North Carolina this means that Athena's owner is able to run the mill despite her previous charges and due to the lack of laws the animal protection organization has called the state a hotbed for some of the worst puppy mill operations in the country since her rescue moreover Athena has become sort of a symbol of the fight for proper animal breeding regulations in North Carolina 
the staff at brother wolf have even set the cute kitty up with a public profile on Facebook which has in turn garnered many new fans like all of us at brother wolf Athena believes North Carolina needs responsible legislation that mandates humane standards of care for all commercial breeding operations in our state reads her profile Tennessee and Virginia have puppy mill laws even Missouri and West Virginia have puppy mill laws so what's up with North Carolina legislators as a result of Athena's newfound public profile then she now spends her days raising awareness about the plight of other puppy mill animals who may not be as lucky as she was to get saved and her new human friend couldn't be happier about it I feel like a proud mom Ellis admitted in a 2015 video update by the Humane Society she's saving kittens and puppies so while there's no excusing what happened to Athena and the other animals found with her perhaps some good will come from her story by raising awareness of the true horrors of puppy mills hopefully in the future no other animals will have to go through the same thing she did and until then this sassy cat will continue to fight for the